Hi there, I'm Angela. Welcome to the channel or welcome back and welcome to my first episode of Hashtag Friday Sews in a very long time. I'm so happy you're here. Come on in and let's chat. Little bit of housekeeping before we jump into sewing in life. So as I mentioned in the intro, it's been quite a while since I've done a Friday so it's probably early to mid April. And the reason why is that I wasn't getting any sewing done. So I didn't have anything to share with you guys. So what I ended up doing was to, with my next project that was up on deck, was to do several videos of sew with me, where you guys could come hang out with me while I sew, uh, watch me sew, let me keep you company while you're sewing. So I did that. I'm pretty sure it was four episodes where I worked on a pair of pants, which was my my most recent make that I'll share with you here in a moment. So thanks to all of you guys who did watch those videos. It kind of uh, kept me accountable and made sure that I got that project done. Uh, I said it before on the channel, gardening is my other love besides sewing. In April and May, like if you're like a, a pretty heavy or serious gardener, April and May are just like bonkers, crazy busy. So my sewing kind of takes a hit. And just having you guys hang out with me while I very slowly and sort of uh, kind of erratically, not on a very set schedule at all, worked on these pants. Thank you, because it kind of pushed me to get them done. They're right here, and I'll show you how, in case you missed the final reveal of the pants, I'll put a little clip in the, this video here in a little bit, just in case you're interested to see how they came out. And the other bits of housekeeping to share with you guys are on my Stash Sew Down 2023. And if you saw my video early in the year where I talked about how much fabric I have and a plan for sewing down at least half of it before I would allow myself to buy any new fabric. Um, if you missed that, I'll link that video below. But I am very slowly but surely working on it. And these pants were actually, here's how slowly I'm going, piece number, garment number six out of 34 that I have uh, kind of promised to myself to make before I get more fabric. I haven't bought any garment fabric, or really any fabric of any type. I think maybe I bought a piece of lining for one of the projects, but since the beginning of the year. So if it hadn't been for like gardening season coming up and getting to buy seeds and you know, plants and things for the garden, I'd be going into serious withdrawals, I think. But the garden has kind of sustained me through my fabric ban. And given that I'm only on just finished six out of 34 pieces, I might have to reevaluate my goal and kind of uh, maybe make it more attainable, let's say. <laughs> uh, I'm keeping my pen in that and we'll come back to that as the year goes on. I'll keep updating you guys on how I'm doing with my stash sew down. I'm sure at the end of the year, I'll kind of do like um, a summary or like a closeout of how I did. But for now, I'm just going to kind of pluck away at it. And then the other thing kind of related, but a little different is my capsule wardrobe. So I also did a, a video outlining my plans for a capsule wardrobe earlier this year. I'll link to that one below too, in case you missed it. And the plan for the capsule was 10 pieces, 10 garments. And these pants were only like number five. So I have a feeling that I'll get them all done in time for fall, which it is intended to be kind of a fall winter um, capsule, just because of the color. The colors are more appropriate for a fall palette. And the some of the fabrics are a little heavier. Like I wouldn't want to wear these pants this summer because that fabric is so thick. So that's all the housekeeping. And as far as sewing, the only thing I did finish was the pants. And I'll go ahead and put a little clip of me wearing the pants right now. And then when I come back, I'll talk just a little bit like of how the process went, whether I like them, how they came out or not. So here's the clip. So you might have seen me do the, like the little twirl in my previous video, uh, but if you didn't, what did you think of them? 
Um, a little bit of a summary because I do plan to do a full pattern review on this pattern. It's a Vogue pattern, V9246. I'll put a picture up here. And because the pattern, even though it's out of print, it is still pretty readily available on Etsy and eBay and so forth. I will do a full pattern review on it. Overall, I'm really happy with the pants. They're very comfortable. And there were, um, it wasn't the easiest make, and that's mostly due to the way that the waistband was constructed. Um, I did um, kind of like muddle it up just a little bit. It's not the cleanest uh, finish, but since I'll always be wearing a shirt that overlaps the waistband with these pants, I don't think it's going to be like, you know, a huge issue or anything. So if you're interested in the pattern review, look for that to come next week. And then next up for me, using the same Vogue pattern, is the jacket. I'll put, it, put the picture back up again in case you're interested. And that will also be a part of the capsule wardrobe. I'm going to use the same fabric. It's this very, very nice, um, it's kind of like a chocolate brown a Ponte knit that I got from Stylish Fabrics. And I was looking back through my, um, my fabric journal, and I only paid $3.30 a yard for this fabric. I don't know if it was on clearance or on sale or what, but I couldn't believe it was so cheap. And in fact, I might have to break my fabric band because I want to see if they have it in other colors. It's so good. And especially at that price. So I might, I might have to do that. We'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it in sewing. And as I mentioned in life, it's really been about the garden for me for the past, since April, for, since the beginning of April, pretty much. And it'll be this way through May. Then once June comes, things will kind of uh, mellow out for once that all the seeds are in, all the transplants are in, everything's mulched nicely. Um, it'll kind of even out a little bit. And at that point, it's just a matter of keeping it watered and weeded. So it's more of a maintenance thing rather than a building thing. So what I thought I would do, if you guys might find this interesting, is to put a few um, pictures in of the garden. And I'll kind of talk over those and just describe a little bit about the things that I have going on in my garden right now. So let's go ahead and do that. So what you're seeing now is my garlic and this got planted. It was either very end of October last year, or early November, which is typically when you plant the garlic uh, cloves for the following year's harvest. So they're looking good. I think they're doing great. Uh, they're not really close to harvest yet though. Probably harvest them probably sometime in July they'll be ready. And this will be enough garlic for us to use almost for the, the from July to the next harvest, next July. It usually never makes it quite that far because we do cook a lot with garlic, but overall it's a pretty decent amount for just our very small household. So next up are onions. And in this picture, these are just some of my onions and a few leeks. I have a whole three foot by eight foot bed with onions in them as well. And I'm trying to increase how many onions I grow each year just because I cook with probably four or five onions every week. So we do go through the onions. And last year I did not grow this many and I had enough to last me just for a few months. So I think I'm going to kind of increase that every year. And in this picture, what you're seeing are some hops plants that we have growing up on our trellis. Um, we've had these hops plants since 2012. When we bought our house, our real estate agent that helped us, he grows hops like as a side business for some of the local breweries. So he gave my husband, like once he found out my husband was a home brewer, he gave us a few hops plants like as a housewarming gift. So we've had these ever since then and they love climbing up on this trellis. And then off to the right in the black grow bags are potatoes. And I've never grown this many potatoes before. And these aren't all of the potatoes I'm growing. Kind of like with the onions, I'm really increasing the number of potatoes that I'm growing because we use like a ton of potatoes, not a literal ton. We use a lot of potatoes in our cooking. And then last garden picture, and these trays here are the seedlings that I have remaining to go into the garden. So these are still, um, while I've gotten a lot of my tomatoes planted, I still have a lot to go in. All my peppers, some eggplants, some asparagus seedlings, and just a few other random things like that. 
So enough of the garden. You can maybe see why it's keeping me so busy. What, what I've had to do is to bring in a lot of soil because I keep expanding my garden every year, more grow bags or more beds or what have you. Uh, that means I have to bring in more soil and more mulch to fill all of those growing containers. And that's like uh, what's taking my money and also what's taking my time too. It's all worth it. But maybe you can see like, unfortunately, my sewing has to take a hit because of that. But it's okay. It's all good. It's something that I love and enjoy. What about you guys? How's your sewing coming along? What are you working on now? Do you garden? What kind of things do you grow in your garden? I love talking gardening. When we have people over like for a cookout or something, especially if, if they've never been here before and they happen to be a gardener, I can like, we might have like 10 or 20 people here for a cookout or what have you. And somehow like the other gardeners and I kind of gravitate towards each other. And we end up in my garden, just chatting about garden for the whole afternoon or something like that. We can't help it. And same like when you meet other sewists, you know, you end up just chatting exclusively about sewing and kind of tuning everything else out. And that's pretty much it. I'll kind of just wrap it up with that look for my next video probably tuesday or wednesday of next week and it'll be the pattern review for these pants and thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and i'm kind of glad to get back onto a regular schedule i have so missed doing friday sews where i could just chat with you guys and not be like focused on um, having to get a certain garment done and that's all that the video is about so it's kind of nice to talk about just other things going on and until next time bye